on the on the Facebook page, the Wildfire Facebook Wild Show Facebook page, I've put a, a map of the Lancaster campus, which I now think of as a, a sequence. So you can start out at InfoLab 21, which is for innovation, and then you go to the business school, and then you go to the Central Park uh, Alexander Square area. And previously, I had thought that the, the drama, the performance, would be at the management school. But I think now it's gone beyond that. So you're into the social science and arts bit, the, the northern spine, um, beyond the central square. And I'm looking for some representation of what the issues are at that point, which I think is that the, um, the social media have, have taken over from where the, where the uh, centre of the discussion is. And the uh, the academics have just got to work their way around that. Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean, my particular special stuff. Um, that is academics. Let's start with where we'll, just education. Full stop. Um, it's very clear. Secondary school education has absolutely not caught up with social media. So at the moment, A-level students and GCSE students will never be told how to use so social media resources to get through exams. It would never happen. And it's also true that academics will, as long as they possibly can, if not try to not use it, have keep themselves distanced from it because their own brand, their own particular bag, employs, it involves their own set of networks. So I think it's a very complicated relationship. So academia would like to think of itself as the place uh, as beginning where social media stopped. So it would want to be saying social media is full of false news and academia is full of true news. But that distinction, of course, doesn't half when you come down to certain bits in academia become terribly subjective. But that, I think, will mean that it ends up being a very, very difficult relationship, if I'm honest with you. Certainly, schools have, have this incredibly tortured relationship, I, I talked to you about it before, with things like um, phones. So yeah. um, most A-level students will not know, or they'll know, because they'll know, but they'll never have been shown, um, how to use their phones to download apps that can gut an A-level exam, but not in a kind of a, oh, you're cheating way, but in a, actually, that's terribly important to how you flip and learn the subject, but they're not shown it. And they're not shown it because not part of the syllabus. Not part of the syllabus. In fact, and the syllabus is getting more, not less Luddite, f more anti-technology. And it's crazy, but that's just the way it is, because we tend to... Um, we, we, we run so many different versions of society. We run what we actually do, and then we run the version of what we want to do. And what we want to do tends to be absorbed within education. So education has got very little, as far as I can see, about the actual lived world we live. It's the fantasy world that politicians live in and people live as they remember their child and they think about their children. And it's not really anything actually substantial. And all those kind of debates then kind of end up, for me, very, very mythic, if that makes any sort of sense to you. Well... Yeah, I think myth is very, very interesting in all directions. So, so, the, so one of the reasons that um, it's happening the way it does is that there are all sorts of things that, can't, that should be done that become almost impossible to do. Okay, so um, all kinds of things about kind of network, get, uh, the role of universities in a very network world is a highly problematic thing, but you wouldn't get a university accepting that. Well, when you said that the academics are networked somehow other than social media, do, are they networked through journals? Oh, uh, the, or there's the time the, sequence the, yeah, journals? and there's academic networks. So remember, the internet starts off as an academic network. So it starts off as CERN as an academic, as a purely academic network. So net, academics can exchange ideas quickly. Those networks have, by and large, them in different forms, um, carry on. So they have their own network. So, if that if that's the case, then why why are they so concerned about buildings, and the the campus and the library and the oh that status. <laughs> so <laughs> that's so, so that, that status. That's saying oh I go to this university <laughs> and we've got these buildings. We 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 do dinners. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, right, I, I, and right. I think that is we're having an extra ex Cambridge man. I think it's pure status. <laughs> I'm afraid. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, right. uh, we'll have but, to continue this conversation another time. Right.